Hi Gemini, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel, Yance's Universe. Welcome back and welcome new viewers and subscribers. This is going to be your general monthly reading for August 2021. Gemini, this is general so it could resonate for you and your person at any given moment. That's why you got to flip the roles and reverse them. This could have already happened, could be happening now or could happen in the near future. Flip the roles and reverse them. Um, it could happen for you, your person, anyone around you and or your person at work or with the family. Okay. In career finances or even just some um, things you're going through emotionally or spiritually. All right. Gemini. Gemini. In your pre-shuffle, I got the Ten of Wands, King of Wands, and Knight of Wands. So, and the Queen of Pentacles. So, you are stressed out by a Sagittarius or a Earth sign. Or a, um, you are stressing out a Sagittarius or an Earth sign. All right. Also, I'm hearing someone is a double Gemini. You guys like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, donate to the channel, donate to grow the channel, or donate as a love donation for my birthday that just passed August 8th. Follow me on all my social media. Ancestors and guides, please protect me as I go within the tarot and show me clear on this message is for Gemini. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay, this is probably someone you know already. What's going on with Gemini? For August 2021. This is someone that, um, this may be someone that a good friend, friends with benefits. Y'all cards don't want to shuffle. Okay, there we go. Gemini, check out all your other, um, Zodiac sign readings. Check out all the collective readings and check out all the all signs readings as well. Show me what's going on for Gemini. decision okay you could be dealing with an Aquarius so you have some decisions to make you have two options two people two opportunities okay you have a decision to make on where you're going to go all right it seems like you're always having to make a decision with the eight eight is infinity but this is because spirit is trying to get you to open your eyes to all the endless possibilities okay tell me more about this indecision for Gemini this could be you or your person a lot came out okay indecision over a strategy indecision over a plan okay should how do I go how do I go according to the plan how do I make the plan work all right to move forward the temple path all right you're you're resting and rejuvenating thing about this plan meditating and thinking a lot of thinking okay so I'm getting eight of swords nine of swords Seven of Swords. I'm sorry. I'm getting Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. Okay? I think you want to move. You want to move towards a Leo or a Leo wants to move towards you. But you're just trying to decide, do I even want to um, focus on love right now? I want to focus on my money. Okay? Show me what the strategy is. What is strategy? Well, show me the indecision. Clarify each and every one of these um, cards for Gemini. Give me one card to clarify. Each card. One card for each card. Clarify indecision, please, for Gemini. All right, at the bottom of the deck, and I just noticed this, you have the world card. So you're ending cycles, you're traveling. You've come, to, you've come as far as you can go, Gemini. It's time for you to move forward. Clarify indecision. Give me one card. Indecision, 10 of swords, okay, about a heartbreak. Did they really just do this to me? Yes, they did. Or how indecision, you want to end something, but you don't know how because you're worried that it's going to break someone's heart. How do I end this? You could choose. You ha could have to choose between two people. You and your person could have to choose between two people or two jobs. How do I do this without hurting them? I feel like the damage has already been done. Ten of Swords. Clarify strategy. Yep. You. I feel like you. 
I feel like you made the wrong choice. Okay? You ended some things. What is going on? This is you, Gemini. Always in and out. Wanting to rush in, ending it, and rushing out. Coming back in, ending it, and then rushing back out. I feel like the grass wasn't greener on the other side and you've realized your toxic ways. So strategy could be on how to eat. For some of y'all, I'm not going to lie. Y'all are strategizing on how y'all can get back in with this person. False claiming that y'all changed knowing damn well y'all have not changed. Okay? Somebody's using the strategy on to get back in or to get back out. A Capricorn, Scorpio, Sagittarius. Clarify temple path. Clarify temple path for Gemini. Hermit. Yep, temple path. You're going on a spiritual journey to seek enlightenment. So some of you are really like, how do I do this without hurting this person? I, This is as far as I can go in this relationship. This is as far as I can go in this job. There's nothing else for me here. Okay, with the strength card, could be done with the Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Temple Path. I need to seek enlightenment. So maybe you guys are studying a new religion. With this strategy, some of you guys are trying to strategize on how to cover up the fact that you're tr there are some things that you need to fix. You don't want anyone to know. I feel like this this could have something to do with your sexuality as well. Clarify rest and rejuvenation. Look, the rest and rejuvenation. These so the tarot is just saying exactly what the oracle card is saying. Temple path. The hermit is the temple path going through enlightenment. Rest and rejuvenation. The four swords is rest and rejuvenation. Okay, clarify the thinking man. Okay, thinking man, thinking on, looking at your money, looking at your assets and your finances, okay, <laughs> trying to figure out how to give, how to receive. Clarify the world card. King of Swords, this is you. You've learned all you can learn. There's, I just feel like, I feel like you've learned everything you've learned. There's no, that's it. I'm hearing there's never a right time to say goodbye. <laughs> but I got to make the first move because if I don't, you're going to start hating me. Because I really don't feel the way I once felt about you. Girl, it's not you, it's me. I... My vocals aren't on today, y'all. Damn. Let me pull from um, another deck to see what could be going on with y'all. Okay, what's going on in Gemini's life, please? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for August 2021. You don't know what you want for. Okay, King of Swords. The King of Swords was the last card out in the last deck and the first card out in this deck. This is you, Gemini. Okay, a wise person, wise, seeking wise counsel. Speaking, uh, being an advisor, a teacher, a public official, a leader, a boss, okay? What's going on in Gemini's life, please? What's going on with Gemini, August 2021? Six of Pentacles, again, all the same cards are coming out, okay? You're trying to figure out, this is all about charity, Okay, so I feel like maybe some, okay, Gemini, for some of you, I'm getting, some of you could have been like broke in the past and somebody helped you and now you grew up and, and made a vow like, I'm going to make sure I give to charity. I'm going to make sure I help people and give back and volunteer and stuff like that. All because of that one person who helped you or all because of whoever helped you in the past. Okay, some of you are very hard workers and you're like, the hard work that I did, it's all thanks to God. I'm going to give back to charity or something like that. Knight of Swords, Five of Swords. Okay. I don't know if this is you or maybe this was you in the past. Immature. 
um, a liar, a thief, uh, stealing people's time, stealing people's money, gambling, being very underhanded and cutthroat, all right, playing a lot of games. Maybe this is what you're doing now. King of Swords, Five of Swords, Knight of Swords. Still a lot of air energy. All right. Clarify the King of Swords for Gemini. Okay, we got the Chariot and the Wise Counselor. So this is the Hierophant. So you got the Chariot and the Hierophant. So I feel like this is you giving the churches. This is you, like doing tithes and offerings so some of you could have possibly became a preacher or a pastor or an or an um evangelist or something like that okay so this is unity with spiritually minded with a spiritually minded community ask the divine for help and trust that the answers will come all right so you're comparing traditional methods with other ideas and you're making a positive movement forward so you're studying so some of you are studying different religions so if you're in school, you're probably, you know, studying some type of different religion for classes and stuff like that. You're moving forward, trying to um, make the best decision to move in the best direction forward. Seeking wise counsel. You could be a therapist or you're speaking to a therapist. All right. Clarify the six of pentacles for Gemini. Seven of cups. Okay. So you've been putting your money in a lot of different areas. Seven of cups. Or you're daydreaming on where to invest, where to put your money into. I feel like some of you feel like you... So I'm getting a whole other storyline. Some of you have multiple children and you have to pay a lot of child support for seven kids, six kids. Okay? Five kids. Five, five kids, six kids, or seven kids. Okay? And your money is dwindling down. Okay? That was just for maybe one of you. But I, for some reason, I'm seeing with seven, with the seven of cups, you're giving to seven different people, seven different ideas. Or you have seven different, um, set, you make seven figures. You just have multiple streams of income. This money is either coming in or going out. Clarify the seven of cups. Okay, you're being un you're being unable or um, unwilling to make a decision. So you have a decision on where to invest. Okay, where to put your money. So you're I see you putting your money in a banking a bank account or a savings account. This has to do with money. So you may feel like you're not getting enough money. You're only getting like a little bit amount of money from multiple sources with the two of swords, and you can't make a decision on who to give to. Clarify the five of swords. I don't know why I'm getting like, I don't, if the, either this is you or your father or your mother or your grandfather or your grandmother who has to choose between you and the grandkids or you and the kids on who to give this inheritance or this home to or who to give this money to. And they can't, you can't make a decision on who to give this money to or who to put in your will or who to give this inheritance to. You Okay. Or maybe this is your mom or your grandma or your grandpa who has a lot of money or is trying to figure out who to put in the will or who to give this inheritance or this house to okay so for the five of swords we have renewal this is the death card the sun and the moon okay so i feel like somebody either probably passed i send my condolences or there's a new child with the sun and you don't see this I think as soon as someone passes, someone is born that same day. Or someone has a birthday the day someone passes. What the f Gemini, I always get these crazy ass readings for y'all. I always get these crazy ass readings for y'all. So there is a Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Leo, Pisces involved and it could be all these different seven people involved so i don't know why some of y'all may be in some type of like um i'm getting some of a lot of you or some of you are in some type of um uh sports group sports club you and a group of people are like um 
semi-pro bowling, semi-pro golf, or semi-pro blackjack, semi-pro, like you and a couple of other people, semi-pro in some type of sport or something like that. All right, show me what's going on in Gemini's love life because y'all always get the weirdest general readings and I can't never figure out what the fuck is going on. Show me what's going on in Gemini's love life. Show me what's going on in Gemini's love life. For August 2021, please. Release your ex. Okay, release your ex. It's time for you to cleanse your energy. All right, show me what, um, show me Gemini's person, please. Show me Gemini's person. Religious factors. Okay, so you're trying to release your ex, and your person has some type of um, religious or spiritual um, upbringing that's affecting your love life or their love life what's the mutual energy between Gemini and that person engagement okay wow so the mutual energy is engagement so the mutual energy between both of you is that your love life is ascending to a high level of commitment so maybe they want to get married and you're still trying to release someone from the past Maybe they want to get married and you got cold feet. Okay, you're trying to release your ex. They're trying to get married. Or you're trying to release your ex all in the same time while you're getting married to, to them or by another person. Or you're getting married to another person. What the fuck? You're doing all this because you have children together? Maybe you feel like you have to marry them and take care of them because they have kids or y'all have kids together. Maybe you feel like you need to get married because you have kids and you need, you know, someone stable to help take care of you and the kids. Show me Gemini, please. Clarify, release your ex. Show me Gemini. Clarify, release your ex for Gemini. You got the devil card. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. You got some negative attachments. If you're not releasing your ex, you're trying to clear this energy before y'all get married. Or you're trying to clear this energy before y'all move into a higher level of commitment. Or before y'all move in together. Before y'all have kids. Like, there's some toxic things we need to, you know, get rid of. Maybe this is you trying to um, get rid of those negative things within yourself. Okay? Clarify, release your ex for Gemini. Okay, strength card. Trying to have the strength. You don't want to let go, Gemini. It's you. It's you. You don't want to let go. You're holding back. You're holding on. Yes, you are. This is your card, Gemini. The lovers. You want to hold on to both. If not, I don't know, Gemini. Clar <laughs> Clarify, release your ex for Gemini. This is your energy, Gemini. If it, it can be vice versa. Y'all know that. The nine of pentacles. Yeah, you want to act single. You're holding back. You want to act single. You don't want to move to a higher level of commitment. You want to hold back. You still want to have some fun, okay? Or you want to move towards the Leo. You just want to have some fun. Gemini, what the fuck you got going on with the lover's card? Hold on. So you want to move towards the Leo or you need to release a Leo. If not, damn, how'd this get on my fucking pants? If not, you need to release your ex so you can move towards this Leo. But I don't see that you can. With this uh, Queen of Wands, there's still someone on the sidelines. You're trying to hold back from uh, whoever you need to release. You're trying to hold back from this Leo or this Leo's holding back from you. They, it doesn't have to be a Leo, okay? But it's someone that you're trying to hold back from and release. But you cannot. They make you happy, the Sun card and the Lovers. You're sleeping with this person or you have a strong connection with this person. With the nine of pentacles, I see you want to be single though. I feel like you are trying to remain single even though 
your heart and your mind and this how strong this connection is it's telling you to move to a higher level of commitment with this person but you don't want to you'd rather break up with them than move into a higher level of commitment with them show me religious factors for gemini's person they want to get married they, this is a strong spiritual connection six of swords yeah they want okay they said okay you either coming with me or you're not clarify religious factors for gemini's person they that they got the six of swords i don't see them letting go of you i don't see them letting go so the far i see as so the more you try to push away the um harder they hold on and come towards you okay clarify religious factors for gemini's person ten of swords and ten of cups okay we got ten and ten six of swords four of pentacles they're holding on okay i feel like this even though you're pushing this person away with the six of swords it's breaking this person's heart to walk away from you because you make them happy ten of cups you could have children together with the ten of cups and the sun card y'all have children together they're like we should get married we already have kids together we already live together or we should get married. We have this strong connection. But it looks like they had no choice but to move away from you with the Six of Swords. With the Four of Pentacles. It looks like you may not know how bad this person is hurting with the Ten of Swords. You make this person really happy with the Ten of Cups. Or they make you happy. They want the happy home, happy life. They want to be married with kids with this Ten of Cups. Clarify engagement for Gemini. The Emperor. Yeah, they want to be married. They want to move to a high level of commitment. They want to take control of this situation. Okay, clarify the Emperor. for Clarify the Emperor. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all can have kids together. They want to join the assets and the finances. They said no more bread crumbing, six of pentacles. Okay, I feel like this person is the one who has multiple kids. So maybe Gemini, you are you're young, you're a young woman or a young man, and this person is older and they already have kids and they're like very established already. And they're like, I, I have money, I have all this, uh, we should get married. Um, so you would be a single person marrying in marrying a person with kids already. Or for some of y'all, I don't know why I always get the craziest fucking stories for you, Gemini. So this older man or older person, this already established person who may have kids wants to be your sugar daddy or wants to be your sugar mama. Your sugar daddy or your sugar mama wants to marry you. Oh my god. Alright. Bye, Gemini. Bye. Y'all always got some crazy shit going on. Always. Y'all always got some crazy shit going on. Show me what the angels have to say about Gemini. <sighs> I'm getting somebody who... um. So Gemini, y'all could have some weird storyline on you and your you and your boyfriend or you and your girlfriend broke up or y'all were on a break and while y'all were on a break, somebody either got pregnant or somebody or your boyfriend got someone pregnant. They had a kid on you and they want to come back together and they want you to forgive them. I always get these. I'm just not gonna do Gemini no more because y'all always give me some fucking anxiety and grief, Gemini. Wait, is what it says. Your angel said wait. And reconsider. See? Wait, reconsider. No. You just mm, mm You bet you gotta wait. They want you to wait. They want you to reconsider something. Okay? And then they said no. Alright. Okay. Gemini, I'm gonna pull this Oracle card for you and let y'all ass go. And I'm gonna go take some anxiety medicine. <laughs> Show me what's going on for Gemini. I can't never make sense of y'all reading, Gemini. Give me a message for Gemini, please. Okay, potential. Potential. Okay, think big for your future. All right? So, yeah. So, 
before you make any plans or anything like that, you think bigger for your future. Potential, potential. Okay. Potential. Think big for your future. Your creative and mental powers carry great potential. Your plans to expand your horizons are underway and everything is progressing steadily. Think and plan outside your limitations and remain open-minded as there are more possibilities and more opportunities than you can see at this point. This could be study, a business venture, or travel. Be ready to take on challenges with the think big attitude. Empower yourself with more development and self-exploration. The mantra is, my visions and goals take me beyond my current limitations. My visions and goals take me beyond my current limitations. My visions and goals take me beyond my current limitations. I love you, Gemini. Y'all be safe. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Uh, get y'all life together so I can read for y'all uh, better and so I won't be so damn confused. <laughs> Donate to the channel and y'all be safe. Bye-bye.